Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, episode number two of our brand new series, Trip Gaming versus Team Samurai X1. Last match, I defeated him up 1 0 in our challenge. Today, I will be taking on the rematch. If it's your first time here, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And if you guys have not purchased the beautiful Trip Gaming play mats, make sure to get yours right now. While supplies still last, they're absolutely beautiful. Split mats, alleged mats, brown and pendulum mats, they're all there, baby. Get yours now. Let's go. It is time now. Triff versus Sam. Round number two. Let's go. Match number two. Match number one went in the way of the pen god. We are up 1-0. So time for round number two. This time I'll be going first. So we got Griffin and Blue and Jet. So here the beauty of this is that uh, Griffin, you know, obviously you don't want to open Griffin. But it's an extender. It's not bad at all. This is fantastic. It gives me a free extra monster to play with here. So I get the free ad from Jet. I get the free ad from Blue. Uh, get Red set up over there. I'm debating the best way I want to do this. Uh, the best interruptions he might have. I go starter to bring out Carrot. This plays around potential Imperm. Plays around potential Nib Imperm, etc. He opts to Ash that. So I Gigantic Red uh, still trigger off my Gigantic Splay. I go for Gale Dagra. Gale Dagra effect here. Uh, sent Ab Cologne, Ab Cologne effect. Uh, I just I already have a Shalshism in my hand, so I just wanted that in my graveyard. He's gonna DD Crow. My oh my god, he DD Crows my Ab Cologne, ruining my entire strategy there. Very, very, very unfortunate. He's saving the DD Crow for the Ronin Toe, which is most likely to get dropped down, but very unfortunate that my Ab Cologne got DD Crowed. Uh, I had another dead card in my hand here, so unfortunately. Uh, not good setup uh, here versus the specific hand traps. Uh, here he goes for super poly. Uh, this is going to uh, get rid of my red. Uh, bo uh, the two interruptions here. Uh, both elf and red will be uh, taken care of. Because if you got rid of just red, elf will bring up back the carrot. So unfortunately, very unfortunate for us where he uh, got rid of our... Yeah, that's very unfortunate. But it's okay. You want to know why? Because a real champion, all right... When the chimps are down, they just laughed at us. Shout out Dr. Dre. I think he said that in a song with Eminem before. But uh, yeah, also shout out to my deck because of the best deck in the game. So he's debating here which ones he wants to super poly. Uh, one really cool thing about this uh, super poly as well is that you in this matchup where it's the mirror match, is a super poly in the mirror match gets a Garura. And Garura gives you a free draw after you super poly. So it's like you get rid of the cards for nothing. The card you discarded, you just get back. So it's actually really cool. Giving a free body in the field does offer a lot. Uh, this is why I also love the adventure cards is because they give so many free bodies on the field. So by giving these free bodies on the field, it just gives you another card to link with, which gives you another card. Uh, like, it, that's just huge. Uh, and as well as, as the free draw on top of that. So that's just a cool thing about Super Poly. Uh, here he goes Mud Dragon. Uh, I think he bricked here. It, it seems like he bricked because... Uh, I think he's debating which one he wants. This is all in the battle phase, so he's just debating which one he wants to get rid of. He's going to go main phase two and put up a board, I believe, from what I remember. Yeah, I see Swap Frog in his hand, so he can still play. He's just debating which ones he wants to get rid of. He did the Super Poly in the battle phase, so in the battle phase, he still gets rid of the Gale Dagra. Uh, and now he's going to go main phase two. He goes Swap Frog. Uh, I still have one card set in this scenario, so but my Carrot and my Red are both in my grave, so I won't be able to get up some interruptions. Uh, I am kind of just waiting. I need to make sure his board is not that massive. Is if his board is that not that massive, which it does seem like it will swap and blue for the last two cards. Uh, it does seem like it will. Here he does play uh, into any interruption. I would have not have done that if I was him because you open uh, with the swap. I actually would have gone here with Splite Elf. Uh, but this does also bait, like if he imperm, also he a, does have Mud Dragon, so he's protected from Imperm and Veil or stuff like that. And, uh, but if I were to get rid of the Gigantic Splite per se with a Smashers or something in this scenario, it would have been unfortunate for him. So I think the better play there would have been Elf, but that's okay. A lot of this stuff is for you guys to learn as well. Uh, so here he's going to set up Toad Carrot, uh, which is a really good setup. That Mud Dragon, by the way, it's not a Mud Dragon, it's a Garura. It was a proxy for Garura, that's why he drew afterwards. It was a proxy for Garura. So here he's going to go into Swap Frog. I am still happy with my setup because I have monsters on board here. So he's going to set up Toad, Carrot, Red. That's essentially going to... Uh, sorry, Double Toad and Carrot is going to be his interruptions. Uh, he gets a Jet here. So he's going to get Smashers. So he's going to have four interruptions of Smashers, Carrot, Double Toad. 
I have cards in the field already, so this is still a solid setup. I just think the, the bait is interruptions in the perfect way, and then this is still going to be really good for us. So it's going to be Smashers, Double Toad, Carrot. That's fine. This is uh, this is very playable. That we we can still play out of this. Uh, sadly, he has another interruption there, so it's okay though. I'm gonna still play around everything the best I can. I think it's an imperm. That was my assumption because he put something underneath the spell trap that I have. So now I have to think through. I have to think deeply. This is a Chanel Shizum that I have set. I have starter in my hand and I have one unknown card in my hand. So uh, let's see how we could do this. So I draw here and I think, okay, I have two cards in my field. I can enter the battle phase, bait some stuff. If I enter battle phase, you got to exploit. I attack into elf. This is just the best play. Straight to battle phase. Elf, sorry, Splite, Attack, Elf. And I use Splite right away like an idiot. I use like an exploit. That's a massive, massive error. If I enter the battle phase right now, okay, I out Elf. And then I just literally slap Zeus on top. Use Zeus effect. This outs Elf and Toad. All I have to deal with at this point is would be Smashers and Carrot. The reason why I did not enter battle phase is because he had Smashers. So that's most likely could have been the best way what I did was because if I enter battle phase, that shit was getting Smashered 100%. So there's a downside here. After I prosperity and uh, just to see if he's gonna negate this or not. And I think I got rid of three because I did not want him to negate it. I really wanted to draw something that could help me out here. Perhaps bait the smashers with another card and then Zeus at the very end. He opts to carrot, which is a good play. And I recognize he can't do anything. I have talents in my hand, uh, but obviously he negate talents of Toad and then I know what to play. So sadly we lose game one over there. We're gonna go to game number two. Uh, I told him the last match. Could he 2 0 the Pen God? Let's see what happens here. So, in this scenario, uh, I, I side into Triple Sanctum, Triple Trap Trick, and Artifact Scythe. So, let's see. But all you need to do is really to draw one of these and a GG for the opponent. I do love cards like this that are just auto wins. Uh, funny story. Okay. So, this match showed me something crazy. We no longer play Illusion of Chaos and Souls. Uh, we used to play, uh, like, you into the combo, you would go Illusion of Chaos, add Herald, Herald put back Scythe if you hard your Scythe. So I'm going to give you guys a little... Uh, guys, guys, I'm not going to run for everyone right here. There's, there's 30 seconds left in the video. I do end up losing game two. I get my two old. What happened? I drew Scythe and double trap, Sanctum, Trap Trick, all that stuff. This video made me realize that you have to play a Pointer of the Red Lotus. Instead of Scythe. You need to play traps going first in this format. There's so much space in the side deck, you might as well. So in this scenario, where I hard, hard, hard brick, hard brick with all traps. I drew all the traps, but I also drew Scythe. So I set two, and I'm gonna reveal that it was Sanctum and Scythe, and there's just nothing I can do. And if those are a pointers, it was game. So guys, play a point of the Red Lotus from a Sanctum. Round two goes to Sam, sadly. Let's go, round three soon.